What's up everybody out there in YouTube land? Wrath2501 here. Alright guys, so we got a video by Scrim Jim. This is TF2 Heights may don't make any sense. Okay. So let's see what he's what he's going with here. I don't know what he means. So let's get started here, right? And oh, wait. Okay, it's working. So let's get started and go. That's very 80s, I like it. So, how tall are TF2's mercenaries? Uh, wow, well, that's the topic. What six years with no updates does to- Shh, sh sh shut your mouth. This shut is actually an interesting topic, I swear. And the answer is not as simple as you might think. You can't just measure your screen and come out with the right answer. Heavy is eight and a half inches tall. Now, you might be thinking that we do have an official height chart for the classes. This oh. image right here shows it all down to the very inch. But what if I told you this image was a lie? You've been lied to. It was just made up. I made the first it up. thing that comes up when you Google TF2 class heights, and that does seem reputable enough, I've personally even used this height chart for reference when making thumbnails of my TF2 class history videos. Maybe hmm. once or twice or nine times. But that's actually what got me thinking, hey, what exactly is the source of this image? How do we even know it's right? If we go back and find the actual origin of this image, and I mean Cyber's the, the text, tall. not the original just class lineup picture, but the one with the listed heights actually comes from a 4chan discussion on this topic in 2011. And look, we all know that 4chan is as reputable as a source can get, but even the original poster Bruh. based it on, quote, the arbitrary assumption that Sniper is 6 foot 1 inches, or about 185 centimeters. And if that were true, it'd make the tallest class, Heavy, 6 foot 4 inches, or about 193 centimeters, and the mm. shortest class, the Engineer, 5 foot 6 inches, or about 167.64 centimeters. But of course, this is all just... And don't even get me started on the whole debate that the Engineer is the physically strongest uh, class in the game. That's a whole other debate. Based on someone's best guess from over a decade ago. Another guess from the same thread added a height marker that would make Heavy 6 foot 5 and Engineer 5 foot 7. But you can just adjust a height marker any way you want it. You can make Pyro 8 feet tall if you want it. Yeah. But the one thing we do know for certain, if it wasn't obvious enough in game, is that Heavy is the tallest and Engineer is the shortest. Yeah. Take it like a man, shorty. But now we found out that the go-to height chart for TF2 is bogus. And by bogus, I mean it was someone's guess. They were trying their best. Trying their best at lying. But now what? Now how are we going to find their real heights? Well, I'll tell you. All we have to do is use the game's actual form of measurements. The Source Engine's level editor, Hammer, uses units creatively called Hammer Units, and those can be directly translated into inches and centimeters. And a buddy of mine on Discord, Nobody GT, goes down there. was kind enough to make me a model museum map that provides measurements for each of the classes. And these would be their heights rounded to roughly the nearest hammer unit. But what is the hammer unit in the real world scale? Well, one hammer unit is equal to 0.75 inches, or 19.05 millimeters. And okay. using that, we can now officially find out how tall TF2's characters are. For example, the heavy stands at a whopping 88 hammer units tall, which would make him... 5 foot 6. The fight. F five foot. He can't be five foot six or 167.64 centimeters. According to the first result on Google, which must be the most accurate because it's the first, the average height of a human male is five foot 7.5 inches. You're telling me that heavy, the big guy, the one who calls everyone else babies, is shorter than the majority of men in the world. That yeah. seems wrong, but in the yeah. most literal possible sense, it's true. He's five foot six. And if Heavy is 5 foot 6, that would make Sniper, Delman, and Medic roughly 5 foot 3 inches, or 160 centimeters. Damn, five the little, five they two, little. Soldier about 5 foot 1.5 inches, Pyro and Scout about 5 foot even, and Engineer, the resident short king, would be 4 foot 9 inches. What the shit? 144.78 centimeters. Which, according to the Mayo Clinic, would allow him to be classified as a dwarf. Oh. But, uh, yeah, those would be the heights of the classes in TF2 in the most basic sense. They're all short. But now I have to ruin the fun by stating the obvious, that the in-game units more than likely don't translate directly into real-world measurements. Unless Valve wanted to create a fantasy world where 5'6 is well above average, I think that it's safe to assume that's probably not Heavy's real height. So that means that now we have to venture outside of the game. Unfortunately, things like the NECA figures don't actually say what scale they are. Like how a Master Grade Gundam, for example, is supposed to be 1 100th the size of the real thing. But hmm. the general consensus seems to be that they're around 1 10th scale. 
And with most NECA figures being generally around 7 inches tall, that'd make the full scale version 70 inches, or 5 foot 10, which is close to the average height of a human man. But the problem is that the TF2 ones are actually a bit shorter. Heavy is the tallest figure, and he only comes in at 17.5 centimeters, and that would mean that a full scale heavy would be 5 foot 8.89 inches, which is an improvement from 5 foot 6. But it's but still probably not what we were expecting. Small. I have seen a few people say that they could be 1 12th scale, but that would make Heavy a little over 6 foot 10 inches, which is definitely very tall, but compared yeah. to the scale of the other classes, I'm not so sure. I kind of doubt someone like Scout is well above 6 feet tall. But a few of the gaming head statues do list a scale, like this Gordon Freeman one being 20 inches tall at 1 4th scale. Dr. Freeman. But again, unfortunately, the TFT ones don't seem to have a scale listed anywhere. But from what I can tell, most gaming head statues are either 1 4th or 1 6th. And the TFT ones are definitely not 1 4th. Because they are smaller than no. 20 inches. Yeah. Which is 50.8 centimeters, by the way. I, I'm, trying my, I'm trying my best to use both. But if we are to assume the TFT ones are 1 6th scale, that could give us an idea. Seriously? The soldier statue is probably the best example because he's standing perfectly straight. And he stands at exactly 12 inches tall without his helmet. And at 1 6th scale, he would be exactly 6 feet tall. 182.88 centimeters and that seems very plausible though I don't think we know for absolute certain but luckily we do have mm. one piece of TF2 merchandise that does have a definitive scale the heavy and pyro robot figures are confirmed to be 1 6 scale and the really? regular sized robots are the same size as the humans which does give us a pretty good idea and the robot heavy figure stands at 30 centimeters tall which would make the real heavy 180 centimeters or 5 feet 10.86 inches Dude, all these things have huh. them really short. I mean, if you compare the size of the heavy statue to the robot heavy, the robot yeah. heavy is definitely smaller, even with the statue having its legs bent. So, ironically, the one that straight up lists a confirmed scale seems to be more inaccurate. I mean, I don't know yeah. about you, but I would much sooner buy Soldier being 6 feet tall than Heavy only being 5 foot 11. Yeah. But we do have one last hope, which comes from the last panel of the comic Ring of Fired, where we do see mug shots for both Spy and Scout. With Spy oh, yeah. standing at 6 feet tall, and Scout around 5 foot 10, maybe a little bit shorter without the hat. And this is the closest thing we have to an in-universe confirmation, so I guess I could have started with that. But let's be real, that's less interesting because these are drawings. And some of that's inevitably going to be left up to the artist's interpretation. True. For example, in the model height chart, the very top of Scout's head comes to the bottom of Heavy's nose. But when drawn together in the comics, Heavy consistently towers at least a full head taller than the Scout. Heavy even yeah. dwarf soldier in some of the comics. The point just being that drawings will it naturally varies. be more exaggerated versions, which maybe doesn't give us as definitive an answer as I was initially hoping for. But if we are to believe the mugshot of Spy is accurate, that does give us a pretty great idea of how tall the other classes are. Not only does he stand at a perfect 6 feet tall, which as we all know is the perfect height, but Spy is also dead center of the height chart. And with each of these segments hmm. being a foot, maybe we can determine the class's heights once and for all. Engineer, forever our short king, comes in at 5 foot 6 <laughs> inches, or 167.6 Slightly below inches. average height. Pyro, the second shortest, is 3 inches taller at 5 foot 9 inches, or 175.26 centimeters. Bad average. Scout is 5 foot 10.5 inches, without his hat, which could call into question his mugshot, where he just barely stands at 5'10 with the hat. But he's also kind of posing there, and maybe not standing perfectly straight, which may yeah. make up the small difference. Dumbass. We'll say it's close enough. Soldier is 5 foot 11.5 inches, or 181.61 centimeters. So you have the manlet 5 foot 11.5 inch soldier versus the Chad 6 foot spy. <laughs> Medic also stands at 6 feet, or 182.88 centimeters. Demo is 6 foot 1 half inch, or 184.15 centimeters. Although he is wearing a non removable hat, which could potentially add a small amount of height. Sniper is 6 foot 1, or 185.4 centimeters. And heavy is 6 foot 4 inches, or 193.04 centimeters. That makes more sense. Which would make all of the classes, except for engineer, taller than the world average. And the height difference between engineer and heavy, 10 inches. And that actually makes the 4chan guess, which happened several years before the comic, completely accurate. What uh, the shit? Very good guess on their part. Damn. And quite the roundabout way to get right back to the beginning of the video. <laughs> and that would make the gaming head statues pretty accurate to being 1 6th. It actually works out pretty well for the NECA figures being 1 11th scale. Though I can't make the 1 6th scale work for the Robot Heavy. It's yeah, it doesn't, not quite accurate. Doesn't but work. if Heavy is in fact 6 foot 4 and not 5 foot 6, then that actually alters a lot about what we know about the distance of things in the game. Their feet and inches aren't going to be our feet and inches. Everything does have to be adjusted. 
and I think it would actually be really fun to see how that pans out for the exact speed of everything in game. That could be a whole video on its own, but this video is actually running way longer than expected, so I'll <laughs> save that for another video. So we'll end this one off with some converted measurements for some other things in the TFU universe. If I did my math right, adjusted for real world sizes, we'd have to multiply the size of each object in hammer units by about 1.1566. For example, that'd make this 42 hammer unit level 1 century about 3 feet 0.4 inches. A level 2 century, 3 feet 8.24 inches. And a level 3, 5 feet 4.19 inches. And what about the giant robots in Maniverse Machine? This does show all of them, but giant engineers, snipers, and spies never actually appear in any missions that I'm aware of, yeah. so we're not going to count those. But a giant pyro would come in at 8 feet 6.35 inches, a giant scout 8 feet 9.8 inches, giant soldier and giant dome man 8 sense. feet 11.56 inches, giant medics 9 feet 0 0.4 inches, and a giant heavy comes in at 9 feet 3 inches. And that is really tall, but for a real world comparison, that's about as tall as a bus. Which to me makes it actually seem small. And a tank comes in at a whopping 12 feet 9.5 inches, and DT was even able to estimate roughly how big the MD carrier tanks are. Coming in at 1,751 hammer units, that can be translated into 126 feet and 6.9 inches. It makes sense, roughly it does about look the size huge. of a 10 story building. So that gives you an idea of what the mercenaries are up against. And if you are to believe the size of Saxon Hale as he appears in Versus Saxon Hale, he would be well above 7 feet tall. But that's definitely not lore accurate. He appears to even be maybe a little bit shorter than Heavy in the comics. Hmm. But the comics do also exaggerate Heavy's size a bit. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. again, I don't know anything for 100% certainty. But Spy has always been a relatively regularly proportioned guy by TF2 standards. So if the comics show him as being 6 feet tall, and that also lines up pretty correctly with our assumed size of the statues, I think that's as accurate as we're going to get. I do, I, I do kind of wish the original guest-based height chart was at least a little bit wrong, because that is what made me go down this whole rabbit hole and probably would have made for a more exciting Damn, outcome. Nice. But the guy was dead on with his guess. And hey, that's how it goes sometimes. And this is one of those videos that kind of just snowballed based on a, a niche idea that kind of popped <laughs> in my head. And uh, it just keeps getting, you realize that the lore is a so lot deeper than you intended. I will this one up with a video on how fast the mercenaries are in real world units. And I think that would be Ooh. fun, so let me know if you guys want to see that. But uh, thanks for watching. Special thanks to uh, DT for making the map. And also my patrons like Varric, Captain Forex, Egox, Colonel, Probably Vinegar, Caponicus, Council the Pirate, Pillsman Spots, Some Crazy Idiot, Ozon, Shisho, Salt God, Lobby, Tope, Time Consuming, Man 344, Nolan 46, and Melody G. Alright, peace out, dogs. Okay. So that was actually really interesting. Oh. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I definitely did. Uh, so, like this video and subscribe. Uh, definitely click on the link to the original and like the original and subscribe to Squim, Squim Jim if you have it. So, I will see you guys next time. Tune in every day for new content. Bye bye.